So you enrolled at SDI or you're about to enroll at SDI, what do you have to look forward to? In today's video, we're gonna do another unboxing. Um, this comes, this, this box is one from one of our beginning courses and it's known as the Firearms Tools Lab. And let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we'll get. Let you guys take the first peek. All right, so first thing, first thing we have is some uh, a uh, package of needle files. These are really, really handy uh, for getting into those tight spaces. You'll have different shapes, different contours. Um, so when you're getting into little little parts and you're trying to make some detailed uh, uh, detailed. Um, shaping or anything like that, you're gonna want these these uh, needle files. All right, so this looks like a big old bag, pouch of rasps, different styles. Again, different contours, different uh, coarsenesses of, uh, of rasp. You have a couple of different handles and how you would mount these handles actually. Let's grab one of these out. These are different files. So you have some that are for metal, for some metal teeth. Some like the rasp would be for the wood, for contouring wood, uh, shaping wood. So what you would do is you would place this, this tapered end into the, the plastic handle. And instead of coming down on it like this and, and pounding it in there, you would actually uh, bring bring the uh, the handle end down sharply and that will set this file into the handle. So you have some of those. Um, and actually I have a set like this at my house and I've been recently um, making a, uh, a uh, custom stock, a custom walnut stock out of for my 300 Win Mag. And these rasps come in really handy for that. They, they remove uh, wood very, very quickly. So that's a exciting um, addition to your toolkit at home. All right, so these are really nice. This is a really nice brass hammer. Brass hammers are really uh, good for not, um, you have both a polymer end and a brass end, and it's very good for for uh, not mauling or deforming any metal pieces. And the same goes for these brass punches. So you have a set of brass punches, and um, they, if you're if you're putting in a steel pin or you're it's up against a steel component. All, all it will do if you hit the steel with the brass, it will smudge it with a little bit of brass color, which you can easily remove with some oil and it won't dent your metal. And you also do have some metal punches, which are really nice for those. The, the brass will deform, the brass punches will deform, but the steel punches won't deform unless you're really smacking on them, which you shouldn't. Um, but they will, so these are very good for, for driving those stubborn pins in, or if you use, if you know what you're doing and you're not gonna deform your metal, you would have your seal punch set. Okay, and then you have a nice set of uh, screwdrivers. It's all, it's very, very important to have different size screwdrivers. Um, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to screwdrivers. It's very easy, especially with older firearms um, that have thin, uh, older firearms, the makers love to use flathead screws, and it's very, very easy if you're not careful to deform that, uh, those screw heads. And so that's why you have, you need so many different uh, screwdrivers so that you can find the right fit. If you don't fit your, your screwdrivers or your screws with the right screwdriver, you're gonna deform it. So that's the set. If you like what you see, please check us out at sdi.edu. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and like our channel so that you'll see more of this content coming in the future. 
visit us and check out our associates program as well as our certificate program. We look forward to seeing you at SDI and welcome to the family. Thank you.